Hello, in this video I will be covering how to set the VREF on your stepper drivers for your motors. For this video you will need your controller board, your driver, screwdriver, multimeter, and of course uh, a power supply. So this would be something you would do uh, after usually all the electronics are installed but before wiring anything up. So starting off I will be covering how to do this on the A4988, however this process applies to pretty much any driver that uses a potentiometer to adjust uh, current to the motor. However, the formula used to calculate the VREF will differ by driver, so you will have to look up what formula to use depending on the driver you use. If you use the A4988, you can just follow along with this video. Now one thing to note with the A4988, you do have to look at the one you have, and you have to look at the sense resistor, which is the uh, small resistors here, next to the you know big chip there. If they say 100, you can follow along with this video. Uh, if these sense resistors say 50, uh, the formula is a little bit different as the formula for calculating the VREF on A4988s reference the R sense resistor right here. Most, if not all, ones from China, so pretty much all drivers you're going to see for A4988s uh, use a 0.1 ohm sense resistor, which is labeled with 100 there. So you can follow along this formula. If it says 50, uh, you will have to look up how to modify the formula. So the formula itself is pretty simple. It is the measured uh, voltage here divided by 0.8 is the current to the motor, so the amps to the motor. If you want to work backwards, it would be, say you want X amps to the motor, X times 0.8 is the measured VREF that you need to measure. So to start off, you're going to need to install your driver into the controller board. Now take note, don't follow any pictures you see, like simply match up where the potentiometer is, for example. Um, when you install these, what you want to do is ensure you are putting the correct pins in the correct location. They should be labeled. Uh, for example, this is the direction pin. That's the pin I use for lining everything up. And it should be labeled on your controller board. If you don't see it silk screened on the controller board, you will have to check the pinouts to ensure which pin goes where. So you are going to have to match it up. So we got the direction pin there and the direction there. Push it down and take a quick look. Make sure it's not stepped over one to the side. The reason you want to check the pins is, for example, this is a DRV8825 driver. Its direction pin is right here. So if I were to install this as an A4988, just matching up the pot and go like that, this would be backwards. This would damage either the board, the driver, or both. This one installs like this, so you want to make sure you're matching up pins. Don't use like the potentiometer as a reference point. Now once it's installed, you are going to need to power the board. You cannot do this over just USB power. You will need to supply um, either the 12 or 24 volts that the board needs. So once the board is powered, you're going to need your uh, multimeter. Turn that on to voltage, so you got two decimal places. A lot of the pictures I see online on guides um, have people just measuring just off the board itself or the driver itself. I don't like doing that because when you're touching the pins on the side, if you accidentally slip and touch two pins together, it, it could cause a short. So for the ground, you just need to touch any ground source. So we'll just use the one right here on the uh, main plug, and then for the hot, uh, you're going to touch the potentiometer itself and 0.65 volts. So if we use our calculator, 0.65 volts divided by 0.8 equals 0.8125 amps. So that's the current going to the motor. Let's say we want to go to 1.2 amps. We need 1.2 times 0.8 is 0.96 volts. That's what we need to measure to get 1.2 amps to the motor. Most drivers uh, with the Voron, you want to start anywhere from 1 to 1.2 amps. Seems to be about the sweet spot, um, depending on the size of the machine and the speed you're pushing. 
Now, with adjusting um, on the A4988, potentiometer, you're going to want to turn to the right to go up and turn to the left to go down. I personally turn the power off when I adjust the potentiometer, um, just in case, you know, you drop your screwdriver, you shake a little bit, you slip, you don't want to accidentally short your board and let the magic blue smoke out. So, you're going to want to take your screwdriver, put it in the pot, and turn it to the right a bit. Then power your board back up and measure again. Now I'm just using a standard screwdriver that I have. You can get ceramic screwdrivers that are non-conductive. That way you can adjust it uh, without having to power it off because you don't need to worry about shorting. I've also seen people use um, metal screwdrivers and then they have the alligator clips and they clip it on. That way you can adjust and see it live. But again, you need to worry about uh, slipping and shorting at that point. So anyways, I've adjusted the potentiometer, and then again, we're going to touch ground, touch the pot, 0.83. So we still got to go a little bit more. So again, turn the power off. Just a little bit. Power back on. Check it again. 0.97, so we're close enough. Again, you just keep fine-tuning until you get the measured voltage that you want for the correct amperage to the motor. Now, of course, you would do this with all the drivers. Uh, you don't have to plug in one and do one at a time. You can, you know, measure all, power off, adjust all, power on, and check. Um, but you do need to set the voltage on every driver. The reason for that is when they come out of the box from China, you have no idea what they're set to. Usually I've seen anywhere from 0.5 to 0.6 volts. So in that case, if you were to just plug them in and run your machine, start running it fast, odds are you're going to start skipping steps because you are not supplying enough current to your motors. Now, one thing you do need to keep in mind, if you follow the um, approved build guide for sourcing your materials, the motors are rated for two amps. If you're using other motors, you do need to know what the motors are rated for um, because if you supply too many amps to the motor then what it's rated for, you can damage the motor, the driver, or both. So that was a quick video on adjusting the uh, voltage on your drivers. If you have any questions, again, uh, post them below or ask in the Voron Discord. Thank you. Have a great day.